Haile Selassie Hagos, now 83 years old, served the Ethiopian army for 33 years until 1991. After this, he used to lead life with his monthly pension, but he said he couldn't feed the eight family members he looks after for the last two years. We have lived four years of terror and suffering. Now there is peace. We need to have our pensions as soon as possible before we are dead. Who are they going to give it if we are all dead? Likewise, Halla von Berher told us that he served the Ethiopian Airlines for 28 years. He says he hasn't got what he deserved as compared to what he did. As Ethiopians, we have served this country, but the country we dedicated our entire life has not treated us right for the past two years. We are suffering from hunger and sickness. We cannot work because we are weak. My body is failing me. So putting this into consideration, the federal government should give us our pensions. Another pensioner who is suffering from diabetes and hypertension, Berha Gabrahiwat, said that he served the Bureau of Trade and Industry for 37 years, but he can't take care of his five family members. We as elderly don't really have much of a time left, so not taking care of us is a sin. These elderly who have served the people in this country for more than 30 years are asking the federal government for their rights to be respected. <laughs> The federal government got to see us and solve our problems right away. Only the federal government can solve our problems. We are under the administration of the federal government, not the regional government. Putting the problems we have into consideration, the federal government has to give us our pensions and we have to be served first. Head of the Bureau of Social Security of Northern Branch, Siyu Maskerum said there are efforts to solve the problem. We are communicating on a daily basis with them. We talk about the conditions and they said the pensioners will be paid in full, including the increments after the National Bank starts giving services.